I always hoped I'd be famous. I always thought I would. I always imagined I would. I always felt it could happen, but I never knew how it would or how it would feel. My name is Flacco, but y'all might know me as ASAP Rocky. Born in Harlem World, New York City, 1988. Right now I'm 24 years old and I currently reside in California and New York City. I'm at a stage in life where everything is just happening, you know. Some people would already consider me to be a superstar, you know, but I feel so normal. I'm still doing normal shit. I prefer to do normal shit because it keeps me sane. I know I'm here for a purpose, and that purpose is to create art. If I get recognition for it, that's a blessing, that's a plus. Yo, we out here in Vancouver at the Rogers Arena, you know. Diamonds tour day. You know, it's a day I don't know which one, but we've been on the road for a minute. When I was like five years old, I wanted to be an ice cream truck man. <laughs> You know, when you five, four years old, those seem like the coolest people. I mean, all the kids chase after them, you know? Everybody admires the ice cream man. And, you know, my dad told me the ice cream man is actually a bum in all reality, so I had to switch my dream. By the time I was eight, I found this gift of, you know, Ron, my brother, introduced me to it. He told me to go after it. Welcome, Roger, to the deck. Over and out. He was beating on the table. Go for it, go for it, just rap. I can't recollect what I said, you know, specifically, but I do remember, like, the first line. You know, it was like, my little sister was just born. Her name's Asia, and I said, Asia, don't play with no games. I smokes the weed and I am the shames. You know, it didn't make sense, but it rhymed, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I did that, he was like, oh. And he kept, he was like, keep going, keep going. I said something about suck my dick with a toothpick or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Now, but I'm eight, freestyling, you know what I mean? I swear this famous shit just happened overnight. For sure these hoes were so uptight, but now they so polite. All I see is fake love, smiles, and overbites. But I'm pimping, nigga, dolomite. I remember when I was like 10, maybe nine. Ricky had a deuce, deuce, two shoddy pumps with a baby nine. Buster had the rhymes, Puffy had the shine. Both thugs had more thugs, but that was the shit that made me rhyme. What's up? Back in 88, I mean, Rakim and Eric B, they was popping. You know what I mean? I'm a hip hop lover, I'm a music lover. So if I had a boy, he was going to be named Rakim. My little brother. He was different. <laughs> so we always knew he was going to have what he wanted because that's the type of person he was. He's a go-getter. Even at a young age, he was always a leader. He was a leader of his little crew that he hung with. Rocky's fifth birthday party. He had on his little Jordans with his cross-color outfit. His dad put a, a thick Gucci link chain on him. He had a fresh haircut. He was five years old, it was his birthday party, and it was a long hallway, and everybody's in the living room cheering him as he walked down the hall. Rocky, Rocky. For a five-year-old, it was just like, oh my God. He kind of like profiled Dan, modeled for a second, like, yes. And then he took his glasses off. <laughs> Cocky Rocky for real. But at five years old, for him to have that demeanor about himself was just, beyond his age. <laughs> My 
when I first came into the game, so many people showed love, so many people, man, and um, Rihanna was one of them. Tonight is a special night, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a special female is a girl, so that's why I'm going to do this one for somebody special, right? I'm so gracious that she considered me to take out on the road, you know, because Rihanna represents our generation, for real, for real. Pretty motherfucker with the Mossberg. Jiggy motherfucker at my concert. I'm wearing box furs. Rockin' ox furs. Eating oxtails. Sippin' cockspur. Silly motherfuckers looking awkward. So much dick rotting at my cock hurt. We running clockwork, so we got perp and we got work. Tell Ri Ri, I go Ri Ri taught it. On the remix, had to Ri Ri it. We are in Los Angeles at the Palladium. Backstage at the Everybody out there was kind of hype shit. I ain't carrying things to come up to here. That's what I want. I want my, my crowd to look like that before I get on stage. Love, live, and shit! Showed off a little bit tonight. You know, me and Flacco, we've been on the road for like two years now, you know what I'm saying? Well, it'll be two complete years this summer fall type shit. But um it's been crazy, like we ain't start off with no practice, no rehearsals, none of that. Just straight going in, just bugging out. Hey yo, hey yo, listen, I be that pretty motherfucker. Why y'all standing still? What's up? Talk to me, what's up? I did three shows before I did the Drake tour. The A-Life show we did was my first ever, it wasn't a real show, it was in the backyard of the A-Life store. Santos was the second. I don't give a fuck if you white, black, or yellow. You a purple motherfucker. Creators Project was the third. Drop that shit. It was my first time ever doing like a festival. And all I can remember is just seeing like a crowd just full of motherfucking hipsters. You know, I was just used to that shit, you know, coming to Santos and, you know, growing up in LES and Harlem and stuff. So I kind of felt comfortable with that. Motherfucker ain't it. These other rappers ain't it. So tell me what your name is. I'ma tell it till my stainless. You aim it for you bang it, but that bring it, leave you brainless. It's just me, myself, and I, and motherfuckers that I came with. By the time we got on stage, we didn't even give a fuck. We was just like little rascals all over the stage, tearing it up, throwing Gatorade and Dixie cups into the crowd, and crowd surfing and jumping on skinny white girls. You know, we couldn't even carry us. It was just amazing. Yo, I feel so great that I had my brothers on stage with me, man. It was just so awesome, yo. Like, shout outs to Vice Mag, man, ASAP, man. Now we, we about to take it to another level. We're not gonna change. We're not gonna forget where we came from. We're not gonna let all these millions, we're not gonna let these millions get to our head. I'm still the same crazy ghetto pretty motherfucker. <laughs> Get out, border agents, get out. That's just my brother, and you know, we click. Niggas that go on one-offs and five-day road trips and shit, man, ain't no fucking tour, bro, bro. Y'all know how to party in this motherfucker. You're getting it from the best, and I'm the future, so I'm representing y'all. I know for a fact my brother has something to do with my success.